What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the second channel. We're going to go ahead and take a look at iOS 12.3 on the iPhone 8 Plus. Now as you guys know, this really wasn't that big of an update. If you're coming from my main channel, you've probably already seen the thousand videos I've done about this. But I just find it crazy that Apple spent so much time literally talking about this update and releasing betas. They released like six of them and this update really wasn't even that big, which is kind of disappointing. And it could mean one of two things. Either they're really not even focusing on iOS anymore, which is probably not the case or they took those iOS developers and they went ahead and put them to iOS 13. So they're really trying to focus in on iOS 13, making that as great as possible. I'm guessing that's probably what they're doing, but I guess we're gonna have to wait and see what happens with that. But this update on my iPhone 8 Plus, I honestly don't remember if I took the storage size. Okay, I did and it's not really accurate. I mean, I came from iOS 12.1.2, I believe, or at least an early beta. As you can see, it was 2.6 gigs, but if you're coming from iOS 12.2, you're probably going to have like a 400 meg update. So it's not going to be this big, it's going to be about 400 megs. But if you're coming from a beta or an earlier version, like 12.1.3 or something, then that's probably going to be the size you're going to end up seeing. But like I said, this update didn't really bring too much, but a couple of things it did bring was an update with Apple TV. So now within the Apple TV app, I don't even know where that's at. So now within the Apple TV app, there's a couple of new features. And I think this whole entire update was pretty much predicated on Apple's video streaming thing. So I think they were trying to make everything at like optimized for that specific feature so kind of keep that in mind but with apple tv it got an update so if you're into that then that's cool i don't own an apple tv i don't even think i've ever used an apple tv but that's an option here so that's awesome now another thing that they actually updated was within airplay 2 so i've kind of already said this and beaten it to death but i feel like i can say this without even looking at a script within airplay 2 they actually went ahead and allow you to stream things other than videos music and photos and what i think they're going to end up doing with this is actually allow you to stream video games and things like that onto some screens which i find pretty interesting and most possible because apple in their march event they mentioned the apple arcade which allows you to do games and basically like at games optimized for the iPhone. So I imagine that they're updating AirPlay 2 to go ahead and release that at some point. Another thing within AirPlay 2, there was an update with Siri suggestions. So now Siri is more optimized in that sense. So that's awesome. And another thing with suggestions is the intelligent suggestions. I can't even say that. If you're blasting something onto the screen or something and then you're showing your friends, now the suggestions from that screen panels will actually show up on your iPhone and not necessarily onto your TV. So it'll actually do, it's like a little bit of privacy, you know, it's kind of an embarrassing thing if you're watching some weird videos or something. You don't want those showing up on a screen like that. So I'm glad Apple's looking at that in terms of that. Now I did run a benchmark, but this is the earliest one I had. So on iOS 12.1, I had a multi-core score of 248,467 and I just re-ran it. And from iOS 12.1, it did go up to 253,779. So a little bit of an update right there, or a little bit of an upgrade in my sense. So that's awesome. Do I notice it? Not really. <laughs> when you get over the 100,000s, like every like 1,000 score points doesn't really matter that much, especially over 200,000 points, you know. As long as it's not drastically crazy, like 50,000 points of decrease, then you're going to be fine. So at the end of the day, I think if you need the latest version, go for it. 12.3 is a solid update. I'm just kind of disappointed on the things that it brought. I feel like they could have brought more, but that's my opinion. If you're waiting for a jailbreak, obviously stay where you're at. Do not update. <laughs> you're better off staying there and then upgrading later. But man, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section below. Hit that like button. That'll mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it'll mean so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. All those links are linked down below. I would really appreciate if you guys could check it out. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to them.